Drone. What's up guys, we're super excited because this little guy right here is the first ever US captive bred Azanthic Asian water monitor. How badass is that? Thing to do like it's a total dad thing to do admire your mulch dude admire my mulch yeah this is premium cedar <laughs> <laughs> dude what do, you, what do you got what is this so this is in a sub adult or just about adult size exanthic water monitor and so we showed off our baby that we produced uh, a little bit earlier and this is an adult version of that animal. She's actually a little bit dirty in here. She likes to dig around in the dirt in her enclosure. So it's a little bit tougher to see that nice black and white contrast. But up here in her face, you can definitely see a lot of that white coloration in there. And down towards her tail as well, you can see that real nice black and white color coloration in the exanthic animals. I'm actually gonna let her cruise here a little bit so you guys can get a chance to see her walk around. So really just a stunning water monitor. Absolutely incredible. We're in hot pursuit mode. Hot pursuit. <laughs> so the one we just had born here is gonna look like this one when it grows up? Yeah, it'll probably look a little bit cleaner. You can see she's got all dirt all over it, but yeah. Real nice black and white. So like I was saying, that exanthic gene removes out the yellow coloration. So you're left with a black and white animal. Just really cool contrast on them, especially uh, if they're not covered in dirt. Uh oh. She likes you. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Maybe not. She likes me. We'll take you back over this way. Come on. It's really the best way to transport them. Yeah, they'll just hang right on. It's like a little baby, and their claws are so sharp they just kind of hold on to your clothing there and only rips you up a little bit, so I'll take it. Yeah, don't wear new clothes. Yeah, don't wear new clothes, especially stuff that you care about and you don't want to ruin. So, like, what, are monitors like pets for anybody? Can anybody own a monitor? Um, I usually don't recommend water monitors to people unless they've got a lot of experience working with other kinds of lizards first. Uh, they are a little bit more of an advanced animal and they do take up a lot of space. You can't house one of these in an aquarium that you pick up at the uh, pet store. You really need to have a custom-built enclosure, something larger, for these animals because they do get to be, you know, this girl right here is probably sitting in just over four and a half feet long. What do they max out at? They can get up to seven feet long or even longer. There, there has been recordings of water monitors getting bigger than seven feet long, but your average adult water monitor is probably going to be between four and a half and six and a half feet long. 
mint. Ooh, she is, she's good. She's incredible. Thanks, sweetie. Right. She's wild hot too. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Okay, so last video we asked you guys what your favorite retake morph was, and we went through all of your amazing comments, and we picked our favorite one. This week, we want to know, would you ever keep an Asian water monitor? I think they're awesome. I really want one. Uh, I don't have the space for an adult at the moment, but would you ever keep one? Comment down below, and we're going to send whoever we pick a sticker. The phone, right? The phone. Oh. Yeah. You guys are going to send them the phone. All right. Again. No, no, that was good. That was good? It was fine. You Were you mad about the phone ringing right I now? I was mad. I was mad. It's okay. I told you I'm becoming Kevin. It's overdubbed. It's overdubbed. Ball pythons, ball pythons, ball pythons. We've got ball pythons. You want ball pythons? Come check them out. NewEnglandReptileStore.com. Ball pythons, ball pythons, ball pythons. They're fucking everywhere. Yeah. Oh, they're cute and tiny. We got 20,000 of them. Come buy them. They're not free. You got to buy them. We need your fucking money. You need our fucking snakes. Look at them all. Everywhere. Ball pythons. That one already wants to come to your home and be your pet. We have too many freaking ball pythons. Ball pythons. This one's gonna bite me in a second. Ball pythons. Come fucking buy the ball pythons. Only here at Nerd. They're expensive, but it's worth it. Oh, I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh okay. I was like really mad. These. Yeah, sort of. These are ball pythons. So we're just uh, revisiting some ball pythons that Kevin had showed off, I think, on Facebook a while back. This is uh, earthquake stuff. So Malum, Lesser. Yellow belly, Enchi, Orange Dream with some Lucifer in there too. Like, so there's a lot of stuff happening. So these are all clutch mates. So we've got a ton of variability in here from this pastel Enchi, which looks pretty quote normal for everything else in the clutch. Uh, so this is like Spider, Pin, Lucifer, Lesser, Malum, Yellow Belly orange dream <laughs> so this is really cool this is like a spider lesser malum and she combo but what's really unique is it has like almost this apricot color to the pattern so this is really really unique looking um yeah we're just kind of we're kind of dumbstruck by the results in this clutch yeah um yeah even this just like this is like lesser spider orange dream yellow belly probably malum as well and it's like almost this yellowish white background with just this really cool dark caramel brown pattern that's really neat so we're seeing a lot of variation in this now we've got like <clears throat> this is like enchi lesser yellow belly pastel -y, malum stuff look at all the white edging we're seeing on these bottom flames here so there's a lot of really cool variation and these are snakes that are actually going to start to look better as they get older so something really common with ball python mutations is they might look screaming as babies and they kind of start to dull out a little bit as they get older um that's pretty pretty much the accepted thing with ball pythons but uh this malum orange dream stuff like it really holds that color and stays just as intense all the way through to adulthood so if you get a snake that looks like this it might brown a little bit but it's still gonna be <laughs> really dan <laughs> we're filming <laughs> stay tuned for more reptile content featuring jeremy like and subscribe